This quick tutorial is going to run you through all the basic camera controls and view options in ArmorSmith Designer. We'll start off with the basics. To move the camera around the scene, also known as panning, hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. You can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard to pan the camera. To rotate the camera around, hold down the Alt key and middle mouse button and move the mouse. Or on the keyboard, hold Alt and use the arrow keys to rotate. To zoom in, scroll your mouse wheel up or down, or alternatively you can hold control and use the up and down keys on the keyboard. You can double click on any piece to zoom into that part. That also changes the camera focus point, so all of the rotations and zooming are based on the center of that piece. You can also press C on the keyboard to zoom in on a selected part, and pressing Shift C zooms out on the entire scene. Over on the Unfold tab, controls are very similar with just panning and zooming being available for navigating the 2D scene. As well, pressing Z zooms in on parts and Shift C to zoom out. And then the camera controls over in the 3D viewport are also the same as the costume viewport. There's also predefined camera views you can use via the view menu. Select View, Set Camera, and you can choose between Front, Back, Left, Right, Top, and Bottom. Another useful mode is the Demo Mode. This was added for users who might be streaming a costume build on a streaming platform like YouTube or Twitch. In this mode, the camera just rotates around the costume at a fixed rate, and you can set the background color to use for color keying the background out, as well as how fast the costume is rotating. These can both be found under Settings, Preferences. The last thing to look at with the View menu is how you can switch out the background. If you choose View, Change Background, you can swap out the background. This is great if you're posing your costume, which we'll discuss in a future video, or maybe you just want something less distracting behind the avatar while you work. You can then disable the background simply by choosing View, Reset Background. That's it for this tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Keep an eye out for the next video in the series where we'll cover the transform controls.